Hi, my name is Matt. I'm an applications engineer here at Zygo. I want to explain how to use the new Smart Averaging feature in Zygo's MX software. So what does Smart Averaging technology do? As you may be aware, averaging several individual measurements is a reliable way to reduce the effects of random noise, like air turbulence in a measurement. The more individual measurements you average, the more reliable the final measurement will be. This is due to the fact that noise resulting from your measurement environment will vary from measurement to measurement. Only the data that doesn't vary, the surface itself, will remain constant. The random noise can be reduced to negligible levels by effectively averaging out that measurement environment. So we know that averaging can improve the reliability of our measurements, but how do we know how many measurement averages to use? Too few measurement averages and we're not going to be hitting that level of precision that we're seeking. Too many measurement averages and we're going to be wasting valuable time. This is where smart averaging comes in. This new technology automatically determines the optimal number of measurement averages by monitoring the measurement during its progression. An important point to remember is that smart averaging technology is only available from Zygo and only on interferometer systems using our MX software. If you have an older Zygo system or a non-Zygo system, please contact a sales representative to learn more about the upgrades and trade-in programs that we offer. To get started, enable the Smart Averaging feature by clicking this checkbox in the Measurement Setup window. In this window, you can also configure the noise threshold, which is the measurement noise level you want to achieve, a time limit, the measurement window setting, and the local remove setting to remove a best fit surface form. Now let's take a look at the Smart Averaging Wizard. In the Smart Averaging Wizard, we see some numerical results including PV and RMS, updating in real time in the upper left, a live update height map displayed near the bottom, a progress bar at the very bottom showing the elapsed time relative to the time you set, and some controls along the top where you can pause the measurement and change Smart Averaging parameters. In the upper right is an interesting plot that shows the real time progression of measurement noise remaining in the final measurement. With each individual measurement that is made, a new point is plotted and reports the amount of measurement noise remaining in the final data. As more and more data is averaged, random noise from turbulence has a smaller and smaller impact on the final measurement, and the residual noise will continue to decrease until it reaches a level of diminishing returns. Now let's try a sample measurement and see how it works. Let's set the noise threshold at 0.5 nanometers and set the window control to 5. This means that continuous averages will take place until the residual noise drops below the threshold for 5 consecutive measurements. You can also set a time limit to avoid averaging continuously towards a threshold that cannot be achieved. If a time limit is defined, averaging will stop after that amount of time, regardless of whether the measurement noise threshold has been reached. As averaging occurs, the final data map, as well as the measurement noise level, are displayed in real time. Once the measurement noise level is below the threshold you set, you have obtained a reliable measurement result. Exit the Smart Averaging Wizard and resume using MX software to review measurement results and post-process your data just like any other measurement. To sum up, Smart Averaging Technology is a unique new feature from Zygo that can improve efficiency in your daily production metrology while also ensuring reliable metrology in difficult environments and eliminate user variability. To learn more about Zygo Interferometer Systems or Smart Averaging Technology, get in touch with your local sales representative via our website or the contact information included in the end of this video.